Yo, what's going on, guys? Your Brian host, your Connor Crash, and um, today I'm reacting to the newest um, Tears of the Kingdom trailer because right now it well, I already reacted to it as of recording this part, but I feel like my analysis wasn't good of it because I was just. Well, let me just show you this. Let's go. You see what I mean? I, I was just speech. I couldn't process it, so I needed time to process it. I needed to go to school, process it, and come back. And now I'm ready to give my thoughts. I'm ready to give my analysis. But first, let me show you my reaction to the Tears of the Kingdom trailer, and then we'll jump into the analysis. And I promise you, I get promise you, my reaction to the trailer is 100% authentic and genuine. If you guys do enjoy this reaction and analysis, and you guys want to see more content like this, and if you're looking forward to me playing Tears of the Kingdom on the channel as well, day one, make sure you leave that like and subscribe so you don't miss anything on the channel. With that being said, um, no more, no. Enough said, let's just go ahead and jump right into the reaction. Alright, got Nintendo Switch. Turn it down a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're up in the clouds, okay. Okay. Yeah, we've seen all this. this look, yeah, the game looks beautiful, honestly, for Switch. It still does, even though the Switch is like has become so like oh this music dude i'm so oh my gosh this music yes dude what's that over there whoa yeah there's some there's some differences here and there in the map okay we're in the fields Okay, we're back at the villages. Okay. Looks like we're getting some settlements here and there. Okay. Cool. So we're starting to rebuild. And then... Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Is that... Okay, Hyrule Castle. Yeah, we've seen it. Yeah, we've seen that come out of the ground already. Oh. Was that Ganon? Ganondorf? Wait a minute. Okay, fortresses. Foot. Oh my gosh, yo! Freaking laser. Oh my gosh. Whoa, we need to go back and analyze all this, dude. Or at least some of it, dude. Oh my. Who is that? Whoa, whoa! Zelda. Oh, Zelda. We rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last Who? line of defense will be Link. Who is? Who is? Link. is okay. Oh, okay. We're gliding in the air. Oh wow, dude! Whoa, what is that? Dude. Oh, you can carry people around. Okay, that's cool. All right. That's cool. I love these abilities. These new abilities. You're able to. Dude, and they love it. You can make these these objects levitate. That's cool. Minecart attack. Minecart house, yo. That's awesome. That's sick. Oh my gosh, yo. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. Wait, whoa, my gosh, dude. This is. Dude. Is that Gan? Wait. Let's go! Oh my gosh! But you are not alone. That's it! You are our final hope. I am. I am. You must find me. She's trapped again. Oh my gosh! Get back! Now again, that was an actual, legitimate 
reaction. I'm telling, I kid you not. That was literally how I felt after the trailer. I like just seeing Ganondorf make a comeback, and in a in a new like I, we haven't seen Ganondorf appear in like a main like a Zelda game in forever, and now seeing him make a return in the newest entry of Zelda could be the promise of the greatest entry in the Zelda series. Like honestly, I hope the hype and excitement right now behind the game lives up to the experience that we have um when we play it um when the game releases but for right now let's just go ahead and jump straight into analyzing this so we start off in the clouds we start off in this in this cloud environment in which a little bit kind of shows how these platforms come out of the ground at least that's what i'm predicting anyway and then um yeah we just see more of these floating platforms and then up here as you can see well, let's wait for this uh this up here there we go you can see right up here there's some sort of over here there's some sort of like um structure or like pattern on the ground that's been etched like something that pattern or like construction that's been etched into the ground and i don't know if that's like a new if that's like a new maze like the like how they had the um the old two mazes in the um breath of the wild original breath of the wild game i'm not sure if that could be what that is or if that's just something that just appeared <clears throat> when the um um ganon rose the hyrule castle out of the ground and made the um floating islands appear um but who knows as you can see right here, um, plans to um, rebuild Hyrule are underway. You can see, or at least that's what it looks like to me. It looks like um, the Zelda and Zelda's plan to rebuild Hyrule um, is under is in progress, but probably it's going to get interrupted by um, the reawakening of Ganondorf, which still hype that Ganondorf's back. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, just oh, he's Ganondorf, he's back, baby. Um, and so you see these um, settlement camps here. And then we see this odd structure over here. Like, I'm not sure what that is. And there's like a world, like a, it's still, this thing, it looks like a, a twister, like a, kind of like a tornado kind of thing, but it has like the same energy that um, Link uses with his new abilities. I wonder if that's like a, I wonder if that's something that we would be able to use to like levitate into the air, possibly. Um, not sure. And then here, I'm assuming these are the, um, I'm guessing these are the floating platforms that are coming out of the ground, along with Hyrule Castle being raised up from the ground. And these are, and then Ganondorf right here with that freaking long Thor looking hair. And then who is this? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure who this is. Um, I mean, I'm guessing she might be, maybe she's one of the new villains. Um, possibly. I don't know. Like a lot of this, I, I'm still trying to process all of this as recording this part of the video. So again, I'm not going to comment on this part, but I just... I'm I'm just gonna theorize that maybe the, like since I'm guessing the Yuga clan is basically extinct and now that we have now we have maybe this new side antagonist of the story, which could be a possibility, but who knows? That that could be possible though. I could be wrong though. I could be one hundred percent wrong. And then this looks like a new vehicle that like maybe like a new device or something that a link can use with his new abilities, possibly. I mean that would be sick if we could use something like that. That would be awesome. Or maybe something that would help us on our journey. Bro, I would love to just take control of that and just freaking annihilate Ganon with it. That would be so sick, honestly. I would like, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. All right, I would love to hear what you guys' th theories and thoughts are on all this. Please let me know in the comments below. And it does help out with the video as well, so I would really appreciate it. And here we got some dialogue as well. We rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Who are they working with? Who is that? Is this like a new tribe? Link. I realize it's not a teardrop on her face anymore. That's actually, I think that's just like painting like or paint or something. And dude, I, I, I'm I guessing that we're going to have like floating dungeons now. And this is like one of them or like a puzzle, a floating puzzle that we're going to be able to do that like constantly moves and rotates. That'd be so sick. Honestly, I would, I would, I would be, I would just love that. But that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it kind of. I kind of looks like that's what it's gonna be here. I think this is um I forgot the character's name, but um yeah, I think that's Tiba's son. I think that's actually Tiba's son um from the um first game. Although I think maybe yeah, grown just a little bit. It looks like he's gonna be able to assist us on our our journey throughout the game as well. And it looks like side quests are gonna be like giving people lifts, I guess, which would be pretty. It's just gonna be kind of funny, kind kind of awkward. And then we see more of that rewind feature here, and then the other feature that allows us to go up to the floating islands, and. Kind of like a zero gravity thing there. 
And then minecart rides, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna be pogging over these, bro. I'm, I'm literally gonna be pog I'm gonna be pogging over these these minecart rides, dude. These are these. Are, I live for, I love when games do this. Honestly, it makes it makes me feel more immersed immersed with the game. And honestly, it's gonna be so awesome. I have so many thoughts, but I don't want to give them all right now. I want to wait until the game releases. I just want to be brief with my thoughts. I don't want to say too much because I feel like I'm gonna say something stupid that's gonna make me look, make me look like an idiot. So I don't want to say too much, but I just want to say my, my thoughts just in general briefly. And then right here, we got like some sort of tower defense action going on right here. I wonder if you can attach weapons to this. Um, and then you can have those attack um, the um, the fortress, the, like the walking fortresses here. Honestly, I love, I, I cannot wait to see what I can combine to attack other enemies. This is going to be so cool. And it's going to make battles even more epic and interesting, honestly. I just can't wait to like... Just do whatever, make whatever weird, wacky combination. I can make, I can make like a floating, like a flying tank. Um, and then here, the Ganondorf reveal, bro. Honestly, I. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. Bro. The hype, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. So it kind of looks like his his appearance looks like a mix of Twilight Princess and um his appearance from the N64 games. It kind of looks like they're kind of mish mashed mish mish mashed together, um, kind of in the way. And then his braiding in the back from like um Hyrule Warriors. Honestly, I love the design of Gan of Ganondorf in this, and I'm glad Ganondorf's back. Honestly, the the man is back. The man, the myth, the legend is back. And we see these new characters and returning characters. We have Urbosa's ancestor, and then a few of the other characters from the previous game. And then we're fighting alongside Sidon, which is going to be even more epic. We're going to fight alongside companions in the game, so maybe possibly co-op. Co-op could be a, a bit a possibility. I'm, I'm not just speculating, but you know. And that's it. I am so. Uh, and that's basically it, man. I am, I am so hyped for this game. And after beating Breath of the Wild a few times, I can't be even, I can't be any more excited than I am right now. And with me, um, playing through Breath of the Wild on Switch, um, once again, right now, currently in my own time, like just hyping me up for the game with this trailer, I couldn't be any more hyped. And since I am gonna be playing this on the Zelda old OLED Switch. That's gonna make it even more of a cool experience um, for me, for, for just for me, honestly. Because I know for you guys, you're just gonna be like, when I do stream it on launch day, you're just gonna be seeing me play through the screen. But for me, it's just I've connect, I've become so connected with the Zelda franchise lately that I, I just, it's just, it just makes me just so excited for like all the things that Ainuma san is doing and behind the scenes. I'm just thankful for all the work that he's doing and just. For bringing this franchise into like just making this franchise more seen to broader audiences it's like like me like i wasn't even into like those kinds of games and now i am it's just i'm just so glad for for uh, ayunuma san and i can't wait to see on um, what the future holds and what he has in store for us and so if you guys are if you guys do want to see me play tears of the kingdom at launch i will be streaming that on launch day on both twitch and youtube like, leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it and then subscribe with the bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or live streams on on the channel and follow me on twitch as well because that will help out as well so you can stay up to date on any exclusive streams that happen over there and my teacher the kingdom playthrough over there as well that's all i have for now thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time peace out